Welcome to BCH Technologies. This is Kevin. Today we troubleshoot a black cartridge for a customer. Uh, let's talk about the light first. Uh, Canon doesn't know how much ink is in your cartridge at all. However, Canon has a counter on your uh, cartridge's chip, so it knows how many pages a cartridge has printed. So basically, when Canon thinks you have 20% of cartridge left, you're going to see this brown light going to light up for the color cartridge. Nothing to worry about it. It just show you it thinks it's low on ink. So now, now you can see the black is blinking. Why is black blinking? That is because you turned off the ink monitor and uh, Canon doesn't track the black ink level anymore. So it doesn't count how many pages you print with black. And uh, it, it will always blinking. There's nothing you can do to make it unblink. And uh, when Canon stop tracking the ink, you can print it forever as, lo as long as you actually have ink in the cartridge. Uh, this is different than when you have something on the electronic ribbon, or maybe you have an ink stand that uh, uh, cause some electronic problem with the printer. And uh, that kind of blinking is different than the blinking you saw. So we pretend that we have some electronic problem with the cartridge by putting a piece of masking tape on the electronic ribbon. Now you can see this is actually, this is the air. You can see the hazard light is blinking. Uh, last you ask how uh, to so reset how can we uh, turn can off the ink monitor cartridge. so make it a more uh, like you a have black. to light uh, this light actually light up you cannot do it low you cannot and do just until printing. the printer thinks and, you are out of ink so the you, color cartridge and, uh, you just need to keep printing keep using the color cartridge see if we go, go to print you can see the color cartridge have a yellow excla uh, exclamation mark on the top that means it's low on ink, and uh, the black cartridge, if you notice it, the black cartridge is totally blank. That means the ink monitor has been turned off. So there's no other way other than just print and print and print until one day you're going to see a pop-up window when you print a color. And here's the error. That it says support code 1688 or 1686 one, for, the, for the black, if it's black. And uh, you can see the monitor, the color has a red cross on it. Don't close those two, those two windows. Just go to your printer and, uh, and find the stop key. And uh, hold down that key until the window, windows goes away. And uh, I'll hold down the key right now, and uh, you can count how many how long uh, the window disappear. Here we go. Now you can print forever. And you can see the color monitor is turned off. Uh, so the customer sent this in and uh, he sent it without uh, the, the refill plug. I don't know if he lost it or um, for some reason. So I just randomly grab a blue plug, plug it in. And uh, so basically when you print, you have to have this plugged in. And uh, if you see here, here's a hole, that's the air hole. And uh, do not ever block that air hole. Okay, so uh, the symptom for this customer is uh, he, I think his black is clogged. He refilled it and put it in and uh, he, he print the straps. So uh, let me just do one thing that probably gonna fix both of them. First thing I'm worrying is uh, whether he sealed the uh, parameter correctly. So I'm going to blow some air into this air hole, and that will increase the pressure here. And uh, if he seal this correctly, the ink will come in out from the bottom, and uh, there's no air bubbles coming from the top. And uh, when I'm doing that, checking, and... and uh, also, what it does is I, I push the ink out and, and therefore unclog the bottom. 
After I do that, I'm going to remove the plug and release the excess pressure. You can blow on the top and uh, sink it in and see if there you have bubbles, or you can just put it underwater and uh, blow the air in. So you can see a site, it, it was sealed tightly and uh, you push some ink out, that's good. So now I'm going to release the pressure. Be careful that most of the time you're going to have an explosion. And uh, rinse a little bit. And uh, have a paper towel or something to dry it. And it's ready to put in for a checking. Uh, since we only work on the black cartridge, let me show a trick. Here you can go about in cartridge settings and uh, you can let it only use the black color or the color uh, the black cartridge or the color color cartridge. You say OK. However, there's a glitch glitch here. So for example, even we have a black and white picture and uh, we said print. Uh, I don't want that big. I'll do a smaller one and uh, set print. And you're going to see it says it's going to use the color cartridge, although I turn it to, black, to only use the black cartridge. So the reason is can automatically uh, select it a uh, photo print for you. So you go, if, instead of that, we go print, Let's make sure and we make select sure three things. Paper. One is uh, we use a plain paper, plain, not a glossy, for the glossy paper. paper. And then we go to options, and uh, then we go to printer properties, printer and make sure print we print turn scale. the gray scale on and the borderless printing off. Now if I we click print, booyah, black cartridge. That's the cartridge that hard working American use. I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.